Hi Vogue, what's up? I am getting ready, so come on in. I'm an extremist, you know, so if I go all the way, then I'll do something super dramatic, which will be like a really bold eye and the heavy contouring, lots of just like creating clean lines on the face and then I'll do big earrings and like lots of accessories but if I go minimal then I, I, I do this. I would like to go out like without any eyeliner, without any kajal, just like a clean face that looks like it's been hydrated and the skin has really been worked on so I think I really prep my skin a lot. I am feeling like I might want to do something very simple like this, just like a black blazer and some pants. But I don't know if it'll be too simple, I'm gonna try that out. My favorite color of the moment, which is like an oatmeal. It's like a sand oatmeal kind of color, but I don't know if I'll do that. And then there's this, which I'm feeling a lot. I'm feeling color, I'm feeling something yellow or pink. This is a pretty skirt and it's got a candy belt with that shirt. Hmm. I think I'm gonna try the black. I'm going to try the black pantsuit and then see how that goes. So I'm wearing this beautiful Rajesh Pratap double breast suit and I think it's very my style. It's very what I would usually wear but it's giving a little bit dinner and the way I usually look. I quite love it. I love it but it's safe. I am a bit biased towards my own brand but I do love Rajesh Pratap very very much. But yeah, I'm feeling colour. Feeling colour. This is the sari, and I'm gonna do a really cool blouse which is unexpected because I think with saris you typically do something that's you know the usual blouse that you see all the time but I want to do something different young fun a bit sporty so you'll see. I really wanted to do a blouse that was fun it was modern but at the same time extremely comfortable so I've put on this it's like a little bikini strap here so it's like a little little tiny blouse and then on top of that uh, I have an arm warmer blouse in net and kind of goes on like a glove there so it's very comfortable and I'm gonna polish that off with some McQueen what are, what are these like baby pink like candy candy floss pink sunglasses so I do have a print on the palla that says where is the masaba print it's also in rani pink it's in a neon pink it's great it's light it's sexy, it's something that you can wear from day to night and if you just frost up a little bit like I did, it's just perfect. So I really wanted to do a sari, and I think I'm going to do a lot more saris over gowns for the rest of my life. The next step, um, I think I'm going to put on my diamonds but then I'm going to head to the event because I don't want to be late. A bit spoiled for choice that's for sure but this one right here again very classic and very feminine and I feel like it's kind of delicate as well so that's very nice and I like the earrings that go with it I do think that I've become a more classic diamond person in the last couple of years and also natural diamonds because I feel like it's really important to make sure that they're sourced sustainably and I think that anything that's got a little bit of a ladylike feel to it is definitely my favorite I like this one because it's got a little bit of colour in it. I feel like it's a little tinge of yellow. So I'm going to go with that one. That's lovely. But I do think that this stack is going to work. I need help. Okay. I do like this cuff. I think it will complete the look perfectly. Okay, we're all set. And I'm just going to do a quick touch up and put on some lipstick and then we're all set. Bold colors are not always my thing. I'm always in like nudes and browns and something that's more the color of my skin. But uh, I think a red or a pink is something I do for a special occasion like this one. Okay, I'm all set. And it's fashion's big night, which I'm really looking forward to. And I'm looking forward to having a lot of fun. And I'll see you at the event. <laughs>